Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, welcome to another episode of Metamex. In this episode, the Wolfhound 1. Um, so the Wolfhound 1, a lot like the uh, the previous Wolfhound we did, um, it's going to be pretty similar. Um, the other one's going to have a little bit more firepower, but this one's going to actually have more maneuverability. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you what we're going to do here. Um, energy range is the main thing we're going to be exploiting on this thing. Um, but you know what? Let's get to it, shall we? Uh, first things first. This one will be faster than the last one, but will not have as much firepower. It kind of makes sense, right? So we're going to give her Pharaoh, Endo, and double heat sinks. We're going to dump off that uh, that engine there. Um, we're going to drop that large laser. We're basically going to throw a medium laser on the right arm. As an engine, we're going to give it a 315. The biggest engine possible. We're also going to throw in two double heat sinks into it. So we're going to obviously make the heat management really good. And then we're going to throw one heat sink on the left torso. We're going to drop the armor in the left arm down to that down to one's fine. Uh, that should give us that extra ton. There we go. Boom. We're going to make sure this is 24. We're going to reduce the leg armor just a little bit. Actually, what? No. Let's leave that at 40, actually. Um, I was going to do a quick little change up of some of the armor a little bit. But, uh, no, we're good. Uh, the other thing I would do is drop this down a little bit, the head armor, and throw a little bit of armor in the left arm. And that's it. That is the Wolfhound 1. Um, this Wolfhound is actually really, really good for basically like the last one. Uh, light hunting and uh, harassing mediums and assaults. Um, heavies, not so much, because heavies just bring too much firepower sometimes. And uh, you can get pretty, pretty, pretty fucked up by uh, by taking on a heavy. And some assaults, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a very good harasser. Um, you can harass the bigger, slower guys. Uh, you can get in there and hunt down other mediums. and Well, I'd say other mediums. Um, I mean, it's 35 tons, so it's almost a medium, technically. But you can hunt down other lights really quick and easy. Uh, with 145.8 kph prior to any modifications to the speed, you are already doing some really good damage. Uh, you get an average damage of 3 per second for a match uh, with the uh, with the 5 medium lasers. You can tweak them a couple a little bit, uh, do medium pulse, but to be honest with you, um, that's actually the next build we have, which is the, the Wolfhound 1A. Um... Or, no, actually, not the Wolfhound 1A. I, I, I apologize about that. The uh, the 1B, which is going to be uh, one of the one of the next ones we look at in the next little bit. It's basically almost the exact same build. just has a smaller engine, and it's all medium pulse. That's it. Um, the Wolfhound, I will admit, um, I love playing mine. I like using it to basically hunt down other lights. Um, with directed energy weapons, you literally just point and click, and you do your damage pretty quick pretty easily uh modules well for the moment anyway um or even future skill unlocks uh you want to go for laser range and cooldown obviously um if you can later on depending on if it's a, if it's options i don't know because the new skill tree system kind of depends right um i would go for armor and speed so be armor speed and medium laser cooldown and range and you're laughing, especially with the range cooldown module of level 5. Uh, it adds that 10%, plus you already have the 10% for the energy range. That's a 20% increase in your range, which makes you a very, very, very dangerous mech. Right now, the range sits at, uh, well, max 540. Optimal is 270. This pumps it up to almost 300 and some odd meters um, as your optimal and over uh, six or seven hundred uh, meters for your medium laser, so you can do some pretty pretty good damage with this thing, and you can also touch someone pretty good. So until next time, see you guys then. Bye bye.